welcome friends to a new session on genomics and proteomics. In this session we will discuss genetic and physical mapping, long range and global physical mapping, integration of genetic and physical maps. Physical mapping. A physical map provides detail of the actual physical distance between genetic markers as well as the number of nucleotides. There are three methods used to create a physical map, restriction mapping, radiation hybrid or RH mapping and sequence mapping. Restriction mapping. Genetic mapping using RFLPs as DNA markers can locate the positions of polymorphic restriction sites within a genome. But very few of the restriction sites in a genome are polymorphic. So many sites are not mapped by this technique. The basic methodology for restriction mapping. The simplest way to construct a restriction map is to compare the fragment sizes produced when a DNA molecule is digested with two different restriction enzymes that recognize different target sequences. For example, to map the restriction enzymes ECO R1 taken from Escherichia coli and BAM H1 for bacillus amylo liquefaciens, sites in a linear DNA molecule of 4.9 kb. The DNA molecule is digested with just one of the enzymes. For example, the restriction enzyme ECO R1 always cuts at the sequence GAATTC or CTTAAG. So, after digestion with ECO R1, either side of the resulting fragments will be AATT. A restriction map shows all the locations of that particular restriction site that is GAATTC throughout the genome. The sizes of the resulting fragments are measured by agarose gel electrophoresis. Then the molecule is digested with the second enzyme and the resulting fragments again sized in an agarose gel. The double restriction is obtained by cutting the DNA molecule with both enzymes together. This double restriction enables three of the sites to be mapped. However, a problem arises with the larger ECO R1 fragment because these contains two BAMH1 sites. So, there are two alternative possibilities for the map location. This is solved by treating the original DNA molecule again with BAMH1, but this time preventing the digestion from going to completion by incubating the reaction for only a short time or using a suboptimal incubation temperature. This is called a partial restriction and the size of one of the partial restriction fragment is diagnostic. The sizes of the fragments given after double restriction enable two alternative maps to be constructed and the two maps are tested by a partial BAM H1 restriction which shows that map 2 is the correct one. A physical map is generated by aligning the different restriction maps along the chromosomes. There are two specific types of restriction mapping, optical and fingerprint. In fingerprint mapping, the genome is broken into fragments which are then copied in bacteria cells. The DNA copies or clones are then cut by restriction enzymes and the lungs of the resulting fragments are estimated using gel electrophoresis. Electrophoresis separates the fragments of DNA according to size resulting in the distinct banding pattern. The fingerprint map is constructed by comparing the patterns from all the fragments of DNA to find areas of similarity. Those with similar patterns are then grouped together to form a map. Optical mapping. Optical mapping uses single molecules of DNA that are stretched and held in place on a slide. Restriction enzymes are added to cut the DNA at specific points leaving gaps behind. Then the DNA fragments are stained with dye and the gaps are visualized under a fluorescence microscope. The intensity of the fluorescence is used to construct an optical map of single molecules. These can then be combined and overlap to give a global overview of the genome and aid with assembling a sequence genome. 